In this quick demonstration, we'll show you how to submit a job to ANSYS Cloud for a solution using HFSS 3D Layout. From my desktop workstation, I'll start ANSYS Electronics Desktop version 2019 R2. I'll load a simple differential VIA example that's included in the HFSS 3D Layout Examples folder. The job is set up and ready for solution. It's a small demo job and, and has been set up in this case to solve for two passes and three frequency sweeps. Now that we're ready to solve, click on the Simulation tab and pick Scheduler. Here we can specify that we want to submit our job to the ANSYS cloud service. The first time you use the cloud service, you'll need to log in with your ANSYS account credentials. Now that we're connected to the ANSYS cloud service, right-click on the HFSS Setup and choose Submit Job. This is the standard job submission panel that you're already familiar with for job submission to a local cluster. In this case, it's configured for submission to ANSYS Cloud, and you simply have to choose the closest data center and then choose the hardware configuration for the job. In this demonstration, I'll choose the medium configuration, which runs on 16 cores. Then I simply click Submit Job to send the job to ANSYS Cloud. The project will be closed so that it can be archived, encrypted, and transferred to cloud storage before running in batch on ANSYS Cloud. In future releases, you'll be able to monitor the job progress within the application, but for now, once the job starts, click on the Cloud Portal button to monitor the job in your web browser. After signing in, you can see the details for the running job. It takes about 7 to 10 minutes for the cloud resources to start up. Once the job starts, you can monitor the solver transcript within the portal while the job runs. While we wait for the job to start, let's tour the cloud portal. The dashboard page shows a list of recent jobs along with a summary of your usage of cloud resources, including storage and your use of ANSYS Elastic Units. From the portal, you can also access online documentation, as well as the cloud forum. The forum should be your go-to location to find more information about ANSYS Cloud. You can view tutorial videos, browse the knowledge base, or post a question if you encounter issues and need help. Remember to use the search function first to see if someone has already asked a similar question. Returning to the cloud portal, once the job starts to run, you can monitor the solver transcript. We've accelerated the timeline here for the purpose of demonstration, but once the job completes, solver results are transferred to cloud storage and the compute resources are shut down. Either during solution or after it completes, we can also use the cloud portal to view graphical convergence or review the solution profile. With the solution complete, now let's return to the Electronics Desktop application and download results. You can choose to download the full results or just S parameters, which are more lightweight. In this case, we'll choose to download the S parameters. With the download complete, we can reload the project and import the results. Right-click on the analysis and choose Import Solution. Click OK and then browse into the AEDT Downloads folder to find the file containing S parameters. With the solution loaded, we can then create a report. Since we only solved for two passes and three frequency sweeps, we'll create a simple data table. Select the frequency sweep data we just downloaded and choose a few quantities to show results. Our solution is complete and results are now available locally for post-processing. That completes this demonstration of using ANSYS Cloud for a solution using HFSS 3D Layout. Thanks for watching.